Hello there, Internet. My name's Court, and this weekend marks the 80th anniversary of DC Comics publishing Batman number one. Now, of course, Batman had already been in comics before, in detective comics, but in Batman number one, what's so important about that is it features the debut of both the Joker and Catwoman. And because I have a healthy appreciation for Batman, I thought I'd make a video, one for each character, I'll talk about what I love about the characters, and then I'll rank my top five iterations of each. And I'll be pulling those from film, television, animation, video games, comics, all that kind of stuff. Now I will give you a caveat, I've read a lot of the classics, Dark Knight Returns, Batman Year One, Hush, The Killing Joke, etc, 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 but I'm not super well versed in comics, so I don't know everything, I know far from it. So take that for what you will. Now, let's get to it, shall we? <sighs> Meow. Selena Kyle, aka Catwoman, was created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, and as mentioned earlier, she made her debut in Batman number one. Although in that particular comic, she was simply referred to as the Cat. Selena skirts the line between criminal, antagonist, cat burglar, anti-heroine, ally, and sometimes love interest of Batman. She's sleek, she's sexy, she's cunning, she uses a bullwhip, that's cool. More often than not, she's kind of out there for herself, but she's been known to do the right thing when push comes to shove. So in honor of this momentous 80th anniversary, here are my top five cat women. Cat womans. Whatever. Now granted, this list could look totally different tomorrow, but this is where I'm at as of today. At number five, Batman Hush, written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by Jim Lee. Admittedly, this is one of my favorite graphic novels of all time, and its use of Catwoman is fantastic. Not only are the Jim Lee illustrations some of the best I've seen of the character, I absolutely love the relationship between Batman and Catwoman here. We see both sides of it, him chasing her after a robbery. A tenuous romance between the two, Bruce deciding to trust her enough to share his secret identity with her. It's a wonderful read and a great Catwoman. My number four is Batman the Animated Series, voiced by Adrian Barbeau and designed by Bruce Tim. I haven't watched BTAS in a long, long time, but I remember loving this version of the cat. Adrian Barbeau's voice is perfectly suited to the sultry Selena, and I've always loved the character design. As I recall, she often involved herself with animal rights, mainly pursuant to cats, as it should be. And there was even an episode where she was transformed into like a human-cat hybrid creature. And that's just cool. Number three, the video games Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Knight, voiced by Grey Delisle or Grey Griffin, depending on who you talk to. I'm always hesitant to use the phrase comics accurate because there have been so many different illustrative interpretations of a character in comics, particularly over 80 years. There's no specific accurate version. But this design is the first thing I think of when I think of Catwoman. The relationship between her and Batman in these games is very well fleshed out, particularly in Arkham Knight. Her combat is wonderfully fluid. The cat puns are perfect. And Grey Delisle's voice is playful but fierce. I love it. At number two, The Dark Knight Rises, played by Anne Hathaway. I am a huge fan of Hathaway in this role. I love how Nolan gave her a practical use for the goggles and the cat ears. Hathaway kills the physicality, and her scene with Bruce at the beginning is one of my favorites. She's pretending to be the maid, and she's all mousy and wayfish and scared, until Bruce calls her on trying to steal his mother's pearls. And there's just this switch. Oops. Nobody told me it was uncrackable. And we see her completely change into the slinky Selena that we know. Further, Hans Zimmer's Catwoman theme, though she's never actually referred to as that in the film, is perfectly feline. It sounds like a cat balancing on a rail. And I don't see a lot of people talking about how great this iteration of the character is, how great Anne Hathaway is in it, and I think maybe that's partially because The Dark Knight Rises is the least well-received of the three in the trilogy. But it's a shame, because I think she's awesome. And at number one, Batman Returns, played by Michelle Pfeiffer. How could it not have been Michelle Pfeiffer? I love Batman Returns. Yes, it's super Burton. It's weird, it's darkly goofy, and it's delightfully over the top. But Pfeiffer's turn as Selena is about as perfect as you can get. She's crazy sexy, the costume is amazing, she actually uses the bullwhip. Okay, sure, she gets her cat powers by being chewed on by a whole bunch of stray cats, which is odd but she plays the role with such ferocity and flirtatiousness that's undeniably magnetic. And for all the inherent silliness in the film, it really nails the relationship between her and Batman. And much like Hathaway, she does start off the film as being kind of mousy and waifish and scared. Difference is, in Dark Knight Rises, 
that was an act. Here, that's who she is until she has her transformation. I like that difference. And I'm fairly certain that Pfeiffer herself has even said that Catwoman is the favorite role she's ever played, and how can you argue with that? So those are my favorite interpretations of Catwoman over 80 years. And now I wanna know, who are your favorite cat women? How would you rank a top five if you were to? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, top five lifts, all that good stuff. I do wanna say thank you very much to my friend Sully for helping me source a bunch of images for this video. Check out his Instagram feed at on this day in comics, where he gives you a daily dose of comic history. It's really cool, check it out. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.